<laughs> the hunt I was doing for noise toys is still continuing, and this one turned up, which I hadn't seen for a long time. It needs batteries in there. It's got, oh, yes, it's a 9 volt battery. I've forgotten to put that into it. And it closes up. It's called a stress ball, something rather damaged. Is that reasonable? Anyway, that's what it says. It is obviously what a loudspeaker in there. And the idea is to throw it at something, preferably a very strong window, not a fragile window, because it then makes a noise of... <coughs> nice. <coughs> or breaking glass. So if you hit it at a window which did break, you'd have twice the fun, but a lot of cost to pay too. <coughs> It's curious because it's fairly, well, it's a softish sort of, uh, but but not too soft uh, foam rubber, but it's got a fair amount of weight to it. So you really would have to aim it very carefully to the frame of the window, not the window itself, I think, unless you've got a really strong window. It reminded me of a toy I've had oh, since my childhood, which you've probably come across, which is just six pieces of metal. I wish I could find them again. Which, uh, when they're thrown on the ground, just pieces of metal about that big, six of them, thin steel, sort of grey colour, throw them on a hard surface, and they make noise just like this. <coughs> that high tinkle sound due to the vibration, heavy vi the vibration of the little pieces, or the shards of glass. So, 60 years on, they're still making noises, toys that make the noise of breaking glass, because it's a bit of fun, isn't it? So, that was a nice one to rediscover. If I find the other one, I'm going to show it. And the other one was where I've had to put a bit of effort into um, repairing it, because this was a nice one. You squeezed it, it made a nice pop sound, and out came a balloon. But the balloon had long since perished. How did you get into it? Well, eventually I had to solve it and be daring, get a sharp craft knife and open up the back, get inside, and with some difficulty repair or replace the balloon with the one that was working. It's a bright pink one. But now I can make it work just about by putting my hand, the palm of my hand, over it to form an airlock, and then... Squeeze it tight. There we are. That pop sound is really quite nice. You can put my hand fully into it and then, nope. There we are. The original one was a much brighter pink balloon. Perhaps I'll look again and see if I can find one. Because I like the idea of a pop balloon like that. You know, it's tricky to do unless you're an adult and hold it against your hand. So nice to have it back again even though it's uh well i could put something over to hold the leak i don't know but have a go but it's just a bit of fun and nice to be able to succeed in making it pop again so that's two of the noise toys but then i thought i'd look show a couple of items which are all the same thing really but it's design when i had my trip into the into the um into the cupboard under the stairs and found toys that i hadn't touched for 10 or 20 years this one was probably 30 years ago it was Tridias, a toy company in Richmond, when I first moved in 73, made of bamboo, it's a Chinese production, and when you pull the thing, the rabbit sort of moves across the thing, but just about, it's a very slow movement, it does get there eventually, the back legs I can see are definitely advancing, but not all the time. But a slightly better version of it, which I liked, was the elephant, it's more like proper jungle work, so that was nice. What had perished, of course, was here, this little elastic band, which is the important bit of it, as you pull it, it's supposed to, um, oh, there, the legs definitely move forward there, and it moved forward like that. But when I was repairing it, I was looking at the way the string was wound through the system, and I thought, hello, I've seen that before. But I thought, I didn't realise what I was looking at was this old German or Swiss toy from, oh, 100 years or more, which is a little climber, which I have for many years. And when you put it like that, and you pull and release, pull, release, pull, release, it slowly moves up. It's got elastic band as well, and the same weaving of the string through little past little 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 rods inside creates the necessary friction to hold it as it's doing its bit. So you could, I suppose, if you're really feeling adventurous, design one with an elephant climbing a tree. <laughs> do you fancy it? I do.